The Balsamic Mockup is a rapid wireframing tool that helps you work faster and smarter. And so let's, we're having an overview of this Balsamic app. Let's launch this app. And you can download this as a trial period from the, from the, from their website for Mac or for the Windows. And also you can use this in your browser as in web app. And so let's have the overview now. In the top we have the menu bar. And then we have the toolbar. It's here. And then in this here you see the all all assets, big button, this all the UI assets. You can see it from the view, from the UI library. We don't have now the UI library. Just go to the view menu. From there, select UI library. And you will see all the tons of tons of the UI library. From the icon, to media, to layout, to forms, and to button. To your own assets and the symbol. And then in the left side, you have the, the sidebar where you will see the many different kinds of your pages. Like you have the one pages here. You can add another one from here. Another new one opened and in the reaction side is the inspector. Suppose that I click the iOS. And from there double click the iPhone. It coming to our main canvas. And I select this one. And you will see the right side the inspector is coming. The position, the size, the layering, and the the it's vertical or horizon, and you can select as horizontal or vertical, and with the grid or without grid. And you can choose the iPhone 4 or iPhone 5, so it will come based on that length. And it's a very simple like drag and drop. So uh, let's, I select button from here. I select a button, I can write anything like uh, press here. Okay, let's increase a little bit. And in the reaction side, you will see the whole inspector of its position, its size, its layering, uh, the border. You can show the border. And then the color, you can put the background color as red or cyan. And then you can make it to a linking. From one mock-up to another, okay? And also there is a menu, but it is nothing here. Side drop-down. Press here and actually the drop-down. Let's unselect this one. And the pointer. Now our point is the leftward. We can make it to rightward. Or nothing if I press the middle one. No left or right arrow. Now, and the state of normal or the disabled. If you press the disabled, it looked like faded totally. And, and, and the... Let's select the normal back, and you can select the bold for the text inside the button. You can make it italic or the underlined. And you can increase the size of the text. So this is how the inspector work. And let's have a look on the UI library. And here's the assets. In this button you will see all those you are importing from the from outside from your images from your images to your icon or anything you don't find in the icon library you don't find anything in the icon library so you have to import it and the big one this one you can use for the dashboard and then you have button the all kind of button the button bar checkbox combo radio date chooser and on off the playback button and then you have the common there is button checkbox icon icon and label emails label line text link and then you have the container the tabs bar shape rectangle browser window 
and the forms. Then you have the icons where you have the tons of tons of the icon. All are free made for you to have a nice wireframe for your mobile and for your web page. And now is for the iPhone. You have iPhone, you have iPad mockup, iOS picker, iOS menu, alert box, popover, and then layout. The all kind of layout from the tabs bar to V rule, V splitter, V tabs. H splitter, H scroll bar, and then you have mark bar, the media symbol and the text, the all kind of text from label to button to normal text, to search box, subtitle, tag cloud, anything you want. And then mostly I use this one, the search bar. You don't have to go and find anything. That's, for example, I write in the search bar menu, I need the menu icon, then the other C that we have, we see the menu icon. And there is also, I need some like smile icon. Then you see the smile icon come already, and I double click here, it comes here. I just bring it and drop it. And now I find I don't want this smiley icon. I want to replace this one with other kind of icon. So I don't have to go again there and find another one and delete this one. I just simply can... Uh, I click here in the search bar. I write here the I write here the menu, and the smiley icon. This one by default changes to the the menu icon. Now let's resize the menu icon. It looks very small. I can change their size: small, medium, large, extra large, double extra large. And so it's how all the icons work. And let's see how the image work. Let's write the image. And if you, you have to put uh, insert some image, then we have to use this one, this icon. Now let's double click on this image container. And a pop-up window will open. And select your image. Click open and your image will be contained within this image icon. Now you can increase the size or decrease the size. And you can sketch it by selecting this one, sketch it. Then your image would look like, like if it's a sketched image. And the one last thing is that, suppose that you have three layer here, and you want to select this, all of this three. So select the first one, then hold down, down the shift key. While you will hold it down the shift key, you see a plus sign is appear, a plus sign. That means this layer is not selected. So select this one. While you select this layer together with the A, then see a minus icon, see? Minus, just I get it out of the box, it becomes plus because of this iOS, iOS mockup. And again, you see the plus icon. Bring it to above this calculator and click. Now this three is selected. And now a calculator, if I put my mouse, see it has a minus icon. And if I bring outside, it become plus. Now again, if I, now it's minus. If I click on the calculator or Android or Amazon, it would be deselected. So see, I click on the Amazon, now it's minus now. I click, see it's deselected. The Android, it's not selected now. Now I can click this one. C minus on the Amazon and plus on the Android. Now again, click the Amazon and I can select this one. And let's unselect the Amazon. Click now C plus icon, I can add now. Click, it's add, now this three are selected. You can now make a copy. Press hold down the Alt or Option key from the keyboard and drag a copy. And so that's it for the overview of the balsamic. And we will start working on the wireframe of uh, Facebook Messenger. See you there.